Good morning, YouTube. I am here today to show you uh, or to do a review demo of a new product and I'll actually be learning it as I'm showing it to you. But what it is, is the Clarisonic Foundation Brush. And this is a new product that they've come out with and I was really excited about it because now I have another use for the Clarisonic. And I'm told it, it works with any of the Clarisonics that you might have. I have the Mia too and it's pretty old. And I'm just taking off, oops, some water in here taking off my old brush head, or not the old brush head, but the one I used to wash my face, and this is what it looks like. So it's pretty easy. It seems to have snapped into place, and I'm gonna apply my foundation with it. So the reason I got it is my normal foundation brush has started to shed. It's pretty old. You can see it's all spread <laughs> from washing it so much. It was the... Um, precision face brush so probably bare by bare minerals but anyway it was starting to shed i was getting hairs um on my face the fibers on my face so i needed a new one and i said you know what give this a try so let's see how it works so it really doesn't say give you any instructions too much other than to avoid the eye area so it doesn't take a rocket scientist, I guess, to figure it out. So I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the color Sandalwood. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the brush here. And here goes. I probably should have dabbed a little bit in each... Um, part portion of my face like I would normally put it on with a brush which is what I normally do is like dab it in spaces and then brush it out but this is the first time using it and uh, it's going on very smoothly it's very um, nice no streaks or anything and I should have said that I'm not a uh, makeup guru, which you probably have guessed that by now. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Ooh, it feels really nice. So that's my foundation. Um, I think I probably needed a little bit, a little bit more on. So I'll come back on with the finished face. And I should have mentioned too that I did use the... Um, uh, smoother by Estee Lauder as my primer. I had put that on before camera. I've got the foundation on my face now and now I'm putting on the uh, setting powder which is also by Estee Lauder. I'm really loving those products these days. I really like um, the Clarisonic brush head. I'm, I'm happy to have another use for it. I've had my Clarisonic for a long time, which I use to clean my, cleanse my face at the end of the day. But now I can use it in the mornings while I'm applying my foundation. It does say on here to uh, wash your brush with soap and water after each use, um, which is good because I don't clean my makeup brushes every day. Um, I probably should, but I don't. And so when I do them, um weekly or bi-weekly or whenever i get around to it it's a production because it's a lot of uh stuff on it i've been using this um cinema secrets which is good but it's a lot of makeup and stuff that's in there so now i'm gonna put a little bit of blush on i have the chanel this bicolored uh, blush that came out a year or two ago and I'm still still haven't hit pan on it so I'm still using it. I don't wear that much obviously that's why it's lasted so long but I just put a little bit of color in. Um, what else can I say about that Clarisonic? I do like it. I probably will um, I won't say I'll purchase it again until I use it a few more times, but so far so good. And uh, you can only buy it right now at clarisonic.com and Ulta. Um, so I went in Ulta yesterday to get it. I was upset that they didn't have it at um, 
Sephora, which is where I prefer to buy my uh, foundations. I'm putting on my Glow Kit by Anastasia. Now, just use a little bit. Like I said, I don't know how to do makeup, but I do okay. I guess I don't go out looking too much like a clown. <laughs> just gonna put a little gloss on here. But yeah, clarisonic.com and Ulta has it. So I went in there yesterday to get it. And the reason I don't like Ulta is you can never use their coupons on certain brands. And of course, Clarisonic is one of those brands. So I had to pay full, full price, which was $35. A little bit more than I would have paid for a makeup brush. But I'll give it a, a go and see how I like it. So, I said before I come back on with the finished look, I will really come back on with the finished look once I'm dressed and everything. All right, so this is the final makeup look, and I am headed to church, so try to be a little conservative for church, but this is church flow today. And, um... I will show a full shot here. All right. So we'll just have on a basic red dress <laughs> and uh, black patent leather shoes. Have my handbag and I have my fan because I have my moments where I get a little warm and so I'm prepared for those moments. So thanks for, so much for watching. Um, I will come back on and mention the um, Clarisonic after I've used it for a week or so. Uh, first impressions are really, really good. I washed it out uh, after the use as it, as it recommended. And so we'll see how it goes.